with Make It Sunderland. Over 100 exciting software jobs on offer at their jobs fairs in April. First for Wearsides News, I'm Tristan Hunkin. A symbolic moment for train building in County Durham. The final track parts are being installed, which will connect the new Hitachi factory to the rail network. 7,000 metres of sidings and a new one kilometre long overhead electrified test track has also been built. Work to complete the inside of the £82 million factory at Newton Aycliffe is expected to be finished later this year, bringing hundreds of new jobs to our region. Over the next few weeks, officers from Tyne and Weir Fire and Rescue Service will be going into schools across Sunderland to raise awareness of the dangers of arson. The fire service says they saw an increase in these types of fires during April last year, with 65% of all incidents they attended being fires started deliberately. The increase also coincides with the Easter school holidays. It's a new beginning for the Lady Black Cats as the newly promoted girls take on the reigning title holders. The 2015 FA Women's Super League season starts tonight at quarter to eight. Defending champions Liverpool take on the travelling Wearsiders in the opening game of the campaign. You can get all the latest breaking news for Wearside right here at sun-fm.com. With Make It Sunderland, over 100 exciting software jobs on offer at their jobs fairs in April.